Okay, YouTube Lightbringer here playing Final Fantasy 15 the day after or day of, depending on where you were. The new update for Final Fantasy 15. Now, most of what has been added is fixes for PS4 and the PS Pro, whatever that is. I'm not. Okay, so where is that? Not gonna let me zoom out to help me find it at all. Okay, let's look on my map. Okay, so it's somewhere over here, maybe? Maybe? <laughs> and that's all well and good. Um, one of the biggest changes for people that are just playing the game passively is the new level cap has gone from 99 to 120. Which, for those of you who have played the game for a while, which, whoop. Um, I don't know really what the big Everything in order. hubbub yeah. about giving me 30 right. levels is gonna be. I mean, you already have an enemy in the game that you can fight and kick the butt of that is a level 120. And it doesn't hit much harder than anything else that's at like 90 to 100 before. So I'm trying to really figure out why, why add the 21 levels. Um, and then I saw a video from Lemon Eating Cow. And he usually beats me on these, so kudos, my friend, kudos. And to get from level 99 to 100, like, that's that's one level. Everybody's already at level 99, so that, that one level is a million XP. That's a lot of experience, and there isn't a whole lot in the game that gives you that kind of experience. Like, there are ways with, with Experi Magic and all. That's still a lot of XP to, to gain just one level. And when you gain that one level, the next level, 101, costs like 1 million, like 200,000 or something. So we're thinking that once you've hit like 110, 112, 115, somewhere in there, it's going to be almost 2 million XP to gain one level. And I get it. I, I, I think it's really either post-game, it's to give you something to grind towards. Uh, hey, you know all these like level... There's a dungeon for every single level, like 50 through 99. Want to do these dungeons and get this cool gear? Yay! But all that ex all that XP you got just gets sucked away. Um, so it really feels like it's to make you grind more and just pad out the length of the game. Or maybe make you see an actual advantage in playing New Game Plus. Because I know halfway through New Game Plus and just doing all the quests and side stuff, I got up to, like, level 70. I don't know how much XP it takes to get to, like, level 70 or 80, but it's probably a million or two. So, with the tricks I know now and the fact that I'd already be at level 99, I could see by the time you get to post-game in New Game Plus you being again at like like gaining at least a good couple levels just doing regular story and side questing but again that's only a couple levels just I really feel like all they did was try to add hours to the game and the game doesn't really need it like it's a long enough game already and it's got enough post-game stuff that I really don't need that either. Okay, where is this? Because I want to just hit, like, A button and accept it. Okay, it's on the other side of the crag. So I need to go, like, over here. Honestly, a lot of the problems I have found with this game don't change. Like, none of them were fixed with this patch. 
if if you've been following me or you haven't been following me um my biggest issue with this game is the fact that at the when you boot up the game every single time it tells you it's a Final Fantasy for fans and beginners and that drives me nuts because guys I already bought the game why are you still trying to upsell it to me it's like you should totally buy this game because it's for everyone and I'm like dude I bought the game you don't need to put it in the title like before the title screen even shows up it gives you a black screen that says oh by the way Gladio Gladio, I need you to murder like a dozen cats to save me some time. Oh, buddy, that looked great. Sorry. Uh, we got these with the new thing as well, which is all well and good. But now, like honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna keep playing because they upped the level cap. I really think it was just a, oh, you have our game? You should play it for like another 200 hours. And I'm like, why? Problem is, for most of us, we already did most all the crap for XP game. There's no need for us to do it all over again. Oh no, there's the last one. Two option, kill or beat. Yay, 10,000 XP out of a million. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. Because that, that could take me a good hour to get. And some Oracle Ascension. That was a close Yay. one. Too close for comfort. I'm comfortable just being alive. I know some of you will be like, why don't you give like all the HP items to Noctis? Because, no offense. His his defense is the highest in my group. If something one shots him, it's not because he had low HP. It's because the enemies are usually meant to one shot. The hunt. So, God, I hate those. Come out of a level ten dungeon and fight one of these, and you will hate them as much as I do. Done in a minute. The time to spare. Murder it. Murder it faster. Now I kill them Let's whenever. Done with this rip -rock. Hey, Oracle Ascension. Knocked coin. another one. So out. if I find it out in the wild, it gives me an Oracle Ascension coin. If I just kill a hundred of them, I get nothing. That seems unfair. And then you can do this again and again and again and again. So. I mean, I gained roughly, what, 300, well, with the regular guys, I got like 250,000 from just killing the Cactuars, which is pretty good XP for doing absolutely nothing. Now, if you've got experience magic, that will go better, um, but being able to get 333 AP is nice, but that is a one-shot thing. And I got a crap ton of gill off them? Because I did not have a million gil before. I had like 800k. Alright guys. Um, that is all I'm going to do for that. Because I recently downloaded Halo Wars 2. And me and the wife played through the story. Because I didn't want to spoil anything. And I didn't want to feel pressured to do missions a certain way. Because you guys were listening. So we are going to get off of here. And lights out.